Hey guys, and welcome to Vlogtober number four. Today is Monday. I haven't been vlogging on Sundays just because honestly, I don't do anything worth watching on Sundays unless you want to see me in my PJs with unwashed hair all day. <laughs> but anyway, today is Monday and I have just uh, visited my grandmother. It's, let's see, 4.48. Um, and now I am on my way to the grocery store to pick up some groceries for the week. The exciting life that I lead, I know. And um, Joel's birthday is tomorrow and I haven't gotten him anything. <clears throat> so I'm kind of struggling on what to get him, but hopefully I'll figure something out. I've got a couple ideas, but I just have to, to actually get them. So yes, that that's what's going on right now, right this very mo moment, 4.49. Exciting times. Our little ghosties in a different spot again. So cute. Today is Tuesday and it's Joel's birthday today. So happy birthday to Joel. He probably won't watch this, but in case he does, happy birthday. Um, I love birthdays and Joel's not a big birthday person himself. He doesn't really like, you know, the big parties and he's not into gifts. So it's been really hard to not want to go crazy kind of because, you know, it's his birthday and we should be doing what he wants and what he wants to do is go get Indian food. So that is what we are doing tonight. And I'm really looking forward to it. And I'm not gonna vlog because, you know, it's his birthday. I don't wanna be sitting there messing with my camera the whole time. So um, I'm gonna leave the vlogging camera at home and just focus on spending his birthday with him. So I will probably pick this vlog back up tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my little area, my little filming area set up for my playing with me video. It's like on the floor in my bedroom, but um, it's nighttime right now, so there is no light outside. And this, this is what I have to do. Also, my hair. Let's not even talk about it. So the house with the ghost has gone from like a 10 out of 10 to like a 15 out of 10. Let me show you. There are now a bunch of skeletons in the yard doing yard work. Oh my goodness, I am dying. cooking dinner we're having sort of like an Italian based meal and I just remembered I've got some fresh basil out here on my patio that I think is about to die so I'm gonna pick it and hopefully it'll be okay for my meal let's see how you doing little guy kind of wilty but you know what I am gonna pick you Saturday Saturday and guess where I am work well sort of it's um International Archaeology Day Festival. That came out really slurred and weird, but it is the International Archaeology Day Festival at uh, the place that I work. So we are having our doors open and we're gonna give some tours. I say we, me and another coworker are uh, the tour guide Barbies for the day. Um, so I've gotten here just a little bit early so I can clean, well not clean, but put some things away and put some other things out. Sometimes we get crazy people that come in here and hopefully they won't come in this time, but you never know, so we shall see. So the building that our lab is in is actually pretty old and the floors are not exactly level. And I turned my back for like one second and this rack was going crazy, let's see. I'm gonna let, I'm gonna let go of it, hang on. Okay, so we're all set up. We've got on this table, we have our prehistoric. So we've got uh, a tray that we're working on analyzing, some points, some crystals, um, some pottery, some more pottery, some more pottery, a really big piece of pottery. That's my hand, super big. And then over here, we've got our historic. So we've got 
a cup and a plate and some glass beads, some old bottles. These two are probably a little bit post-Civil War, but not much. Um, some metal, this is a oven door handle, I mean a oven door fragment. A gun barrel from about the mid 1700s. And then these are some things that we excavated from the Huntsville area, so I thought it would be interesting to put those out too. Archaeology day is over, and now I am headed into a new homeware store that just opened in town called At Home. And I'm lying, I've actually already been there and I forgot to film an intro, so I'm going to insert the clips of me inside looking at all the Christmas stuff here. So I've just been filming um, part of a video that is going up hopefully on Thursday, so it won't be up when this vlog is up, but um, it involves a Halloween punch, and I'll give you a little sneak peek. <laughs> sneak peek. Um, but the problem is that I've made this huge punch, but it's got ice cream in it, and it's gonna melt. So I can't really keep it, but I don't know what else to do with it. Joel and I are just gonna have to drink a whole bowl of punch <laughs> by ourselves. Uh, alcoholic punch, by the way. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see if we can make it to the uh, cemetery, if I can make it to the cemetery stroll. Oh, I haven't mentioned that. I'm going to something really cool later today called the Maple Hill Cemetery Stroll. So that is coming up, but for now, more filming. So this thing that I'm headed to now is called the Maple Hill Cemetery Stroll. Maple Hill Cemetery is a, a historic cemetery here in town and um, they have volunteers that dress up like the people who are buried there and kind of tell you about their lives. And they're all in character and it's really fun. <laughs> and uh, this is the third year I've gone. So I'm just, I don't know, I just think it's really cute. And it's not supposed to be scary. It's like in the middle of the day. It's not supposed to be like ghosts talking to you from behind, from beyond the grave. It's just like history. So it's really, it's really nice. So I'll show you, I'll show you lots of things about it. I have noticed, and I'm sure you guys have as well, that whenever I walk and vlog and talk at the same time, my brain just like melts down and I can't do all three. So I end up talking and walking and not breathing. So yeah. put on some more lipstick <laughs> because I had to film my intro and my outro for the video that is going up on Thursday. Um, and my stomach was growling the whole time because I am starving. So it's a little, uh, there are no clocks in sight, 6.15, it's a little after six, so I think I'm gonna put my PJs on, get a jump start on my blog post, which I don't think should take that long. I say that every time and it does take a long time. And then I am going to make some dinner and watch Hocus Pocus. I'm so excited to watch Hocus Pocus. Oh my gosh, I have it right here. Oh, love it. So I think I'll go ahead and end this vlog here because it's just gonna be a cozy night with my witches and my pasta 
and editing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. If you did, let me know by giving me a thumbs up and I will see you for my next Vlogtober installment next weekend, which what's going on next weekend? Space camp. Yeah, stay tuned. Bye guys.